The Hellcat engine has definitely lived up to its name, which is taken from the Grumman F6F Hellcat fighter plane from World War II. It takes off from 0 to 100 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds and tops out at 199 miles per hour. You heard that right. 0 to 103.6 seconds, not 0 to 60. The Dodge Hellcat engine, powered by a 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8 engine, mirrors the tenacity of its namesake by producing 707 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque. This engine was known for its IHI supercharger, much as the American carrier-based fighter aircraft it was named for. Without a doubt, those with a thirst for speed should choose the supercharged 6.2-liter Hemi SRT Hellcat. A Hellcat-powered muscle car's satisfying blend of power and responsive handling will give you a well-rounded American driving experience. A demon's heart and soul, the Dodge Hellcat supercharged Hemi V8 engine. In November 2020, Mopar announced a $21,800 807-horsepower Hellcrate Red-Eye 6.2-liter supercharged V8 engine. Mark Bosanek, head of Mopar Service North America, said that Mopar was offering five crate engines with a range of 375 to 1,000 horsepower. All Mopar crate engines are powertrain tested and backed by the factory to provide our enthusiasts with performance that has been proven. It was a once-in-a-lifetime chance to have a heart transplant by putting the iconic Dodge Challenger SRT Demon's heartbeat into whichever car, truck, or SUV you were building. In other words, the crate engine gave your project the 807 horsepower Challenger SRT Demon's heart and soul. Up until that point, Mopar was never supplying builders and enthusiasts with a built muscle car engine that was more powerful. The Elephant is undoubtedly more powerful, but keep in mind that the 1000 horsepower Elephant 426 crate engine is not yet in production. Although you may purchase one and use it in your garage project, the Elephant is just too crazy to fit in a production vehicle. The 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 crate engine is not to be played with, delivering 807 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque when fueled with 91 octane. Mopar offered the Hellcrate Red-Eye 6.2-liter Hemi V8 engine complete with a supercharger, throttle body, fuel injectors, front sump oil pan, water pump, coil packs, and flex plate. The power plant comes with a thorough installation manual, of course. The SRT Hellcat's V8 supercharged power and performance. The 6.2-liter supercharged Hemi V8 engine in the SRT Hellcat produces 707 horsepower and 717 pound-feet of torque at 6,000 RPM thanks to a factory compression ratio of 9.5 to 1. The Superstock makes 807 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, while the SRT Hellcat Red Eye makes 797 horses at 6,300 RPM. The SRT Demon, which can make 840 horsepower and 770 pound-feet of torque at 6,300 RPM, is at the pinnacle of the competition. It is noteworthy that Dodge offered both the 6.4-liter SRT Hemi V8 and the 6.2-liter Hemi V8 on the 2015 Dodge Charger and Challenger, as well as subsequently on the 475 horsepower Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT with 470 pound-feet of torque. Contrary to popular belief at the time, the Chrysler Multi-Displacement System, a fuel-saving cylinder deactivation technology that reduces fuel consumption by up to 20%, was not a part of the Hemi SRT Hellcat V8. According to Chris Cowlin, the SRT powertrain chief, by shortening the stroke, the manufacturer reduced the displacement from 6.4 to 6.2 liters in order to strengthen the camshaft even more. The Hellcat is fast and not meant for the weak. The Hellcat delivers a remarkable driving experience, and we're not just talking about the sideways stares from other drivers. When we consider how quickly the Hellcat accelerates, we are brought back to the Dodge Charger Daytona. Mopar's quickest four-seater that accelerated above 200 miles per hour in 1970. What gave the Charger Daytona its power? The iconic 426 Hemi V8. 
Members of the All-Par Forum debated the current challenger's potential to surpass the Daytona's record a few years back. The power needed to overcome aerodynamic drag rises with the cube of speed. For example, 20 miles per hour takes eight times the power as 10 miles per hour to push through the air, said a forum user going by the moniker Auto Technician in the post. When you take mechanical losses, rolling resistance, etc. into account, the needed crankshaft horsepower to reach 200 miles per hour is easily well over 600 horsepower. The nimble 8-speed automatic NCF axle, in our opinion, should assist the SRT in achieving that goal by reducing the parasitic losses. While the Hellcat Challenger tested at 202 miles per hour and the 638 horsepower ZR1 reached 205 miles per hour at the time, you wouldn't expect the production models to reach the same maximum speed. Fast forward, Dodge has boldly claimed the 2022 Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Widebody as the fastest GT production car, with a top speed of 203 miles per hour while staying quick off the line. Therefore, the Hellcat Red Eye Widebody with a Hemi engine has the quickest top speed of any production muscle car. The Hell Crate will remain ours even when the Hellcat dies. Tim Kaniskis, CEO of Dodge confessed to CNBC at the beginning of last year that the much-loved Hellcat V8 engine's time was nearly over, and that the whining of electric power plants will soon take the place of the screaming of superchargers. I will have this vehicle, this frame, and this engine until the end of 23. There are still two years left to purchase a Hellcat after that, Kaniskas added. Dodge is bringing the book to a close with six Last Call Limited Edition Hellcat vehicles, followed by the all-electric Banshee, which will use an 800-volt e-muscle electric motor. Dodge has added an exhaust system known as the Fretsonic Chambered Exhaust to its electric vehicle. The exhaust delivers a performance scream that can reach 126 decibels and mimics the SRT Hellcat's noise. I'm sure that will fill the hole in our chest. We anticipate the automaker's SRT division will continue to produce and offer the Hellcrate to hot rodders and fans even if the Hellcat logo will no longer be used after 2023. Why the Dodge Challenger SRT deserves a proper send-off? The answer is straightforward, because a 6.2-liter V8 engine that is supercharged and produces 807 horsepower and 707 pound-feet of torque will never exist. These figures could be surpassed by an EV Challenger, but the ferocious rumbling will be severely missed. The ride is reportedly firm, thus it's best suited for highways like Route 66. An EV version won't have the throbbing V8's ability to calm you down or make you concentrate more than anything else. This V8 monster engine will undoubtedly be missed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.